This Lenovo, this Lenovo Yoga C740. I've got Furmark running. I've got the CPU burner in Furmark running. I've got open hardware monitor over here also running. And why do I have all this stuff running? Because if you look really closely there, you'll see that this thing has been getting a little hot. But here's the problem, okay? I go here to the powercfg.cpl and I'm going to show you what was actually causing this computer. That is not powercfg, I'm sorry, I must have run services. But here, power configuration control panel, hurry hurry. I guess running a CPU burner is not exactly helping make this go any faster. Alright, I'm changing the advanced power settings for the power plan. Balanced, which is the only one. Alright, now, under processor power management here, the maximum processor state, you see how it's set to 95%? That's not the way it's normally set, right? So what happens if I go up to, say, 100% here and hit apply? Well, let's go over here. See how these have been locked at like 83, 84, 85? Are they going to go up? Would it surprise you if they went up? Here, I'm going to stop the CPU burner. Now, see these states here? See how they never got above 2000? Well, now I've unlocked the plugged in power thing. So we should be able, I don't see the power thing down there, but we should be able to get this thing to get a little bit hotter. So what can we do to get that CPU up there? I don't know, let's, let's do something that's not this, right? What would happen is this computer would crash at idle. It would be doing nothing and it would still crash. So we need to get it hot. How are we going to get it hot? The CPU burner, ironically, makes it work nicely. And there's no reason that on battery 100% should do it. But here, what do we have going on? Okay, let's just run Edge, just for kicks. I uh, don't want whatever customer stuff to show up, but there. Okay, now it's going up to 3,900 megahertz, and look at that temperature. Look, it's getting up into the 90s, right? So if you put this thing under any type of a load, just running Edge here, any type of a load, and it starts getting up into the 90s very quickly, Part of the problem is that the fans don't run right, but I think Turbo Boost is killing this computer. So this thing maxes out at 3922. That's, that's a pretty darn high CPU speed. But if we lock the speed over here, because it dies when it's at full blast like that for too long, and the cooling system for some reason just can't keep up. So if we pull it down so that it's not allowed to get up there, let's reset min-max over here. Reset min-max, so fire up edge again. Close it again to cause a CPU spike. Now you see it's not getting up to 39, it's only getting up to 21. And you can see the temps are way lower. Now granted, I'm opening a cached browser, so maybe we click something dumb like take, take in the weekly dose of cute cats. Okay, that's cool and all. Um, let's bump that over to the side and look at our open hardware monitor. What do we have? We have it not going very high. Let's do something that cooks a little bit more. Let's go to YouTube. Let's uh, YouTube over there. And uh, on YouTube, let's... Wow, there's ads. Ooh. Um, let's look up the best creator. No, I don't know who Jody Breeze is, but he needs to stop ranking higher than me for my own name, damn it. So let's just listen to me complain. Actually, let's not listen. Let's just mute it. Ooh, and add. Hey, do I get paid for that? Anyway, let's look over here. What do we have? Focus, please. There we go. 62, 64. You can see the core is kind of doing something. I'm going to skip these ads. I'm going to crank the quality up to 1440p60. And what? At 1440, still sitting pretty cool. Four cores peeking out a lot not even getting past 63. So I'm pretty sure what's going on is that this computer, this Lenovo Yoga, cannot handle Turbo Boost. The Turbo Boost of the Intel chip is killing it. If I change it so that it can go up to 3,000 whatever degrees again, 3,000 something megahertz, watch that max temperature. Watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna refresh the page. Watch it. 
We're in the 70s. I mean, that's not really a surprise, right? The 70s, big deal. Big, oh, what a surprise. What, what an absolute shock. Maybe we uh, scroll down. Scroll down, load some comments, some thumbnails. Get that processor gone. Get it spiking. And you can see that it's hit the turbo speeds. It's up to uh, 78. Let's do a forced full refresh. Let's go back. Maybe a browser's not hot enough for it. What do you think? Anyway, the point is it's already getting up to 85 with these little lightweight things. I'm over here, Control R, Control Shift R, which is a forced full refresh of the page over and over. And yeah, it's getting up into the 90s. Turbo Boost is killing this computer. So here's what I'm going to do. In Windows, I'm locking the processor state to 99% maximum, which turns off Turbo Boost. Because if it's not allowed to go up to full core speed, then it's not allowed to go up to Turbo. But there's no option to disable Turbo. In addition to that, let's close this. All right, in addition to that, let me show you something else that I'm going to do. I've done this on a previous computer, an Asus VivoBook, but we're going to do it on this computer too. This is the CPU, and this was up to 140 something degrees Fahrenheit. It, uh, you can see as I just sort of poke around, it's not getting super hot, it's not getting 140 here, but the turbo boost was heating it up and crashing it, right? So what I'm going to do to add a little extra cooling, this plate goes directly over it, right? I'm going to put wax thermal pads over this entire square here so that this CPU makes thermal contact with this giant metal plate on the bottom of the computer, which will further improve the cooling behavior so that hopefully this thing never ever crashes again. And that is how you do things. Thanks for watching. Take care.